This is Ben with bkashaaudio.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a synth pad sound using just stock plugins in Reaper. I'll right click and select Insert Virtual Instrument, and we're going to use the default Resynth plugin. And just so we have something to listen to, I'll insert some pre made MIDI. We'll lower the output. And I'll play back the MIDI chord progression. This is what it sounds like. Nothing too exciting. So let's start improving the sound. We'll change the sawtooth mix all the way up, bring down the pulse width, and increase the release of the sound. I like that as a bass sound, so we'll go ahead and rename this first instance to OSC1. And then I'm going to copy and paste it, which will give us another instance that we'll call OSC2. And the second instance, I'm going to slightly detune it. That thickens up the sound quite a bit. Next, I'll add in a filter. So we use the Moog 4-pole filter, default JS plugin that's available. Turn the oversample on. All right, I want to automate the movement of the cutoff. So we'll select cutoff and move the control. So it's the last selected parameter. Go to param parameter modulation. We're going to enable the LFO. I'll turn on the tempo sync and reduce this so it's a very slow movement. And we'll just tweak some of the parameters and play it back and adjust a little bit more. So that's a good sounding start for the modulation. I'll add in a chorus, the default JS stereo chorus. And I actually like that with the factory default setting, so I'll leave it there. We'll add in a reverb now. And I'm going to add in a reverb impulse response. So let's do something like a vocal plate. All right. And finally, some delay. I like the ping pong delay. And we'll just leave the ping pong at, well, let's try it at zero first. And that's actually sounded pretty good to me. You can take this setup and you can save it as an effects chain or as a track template. That way, if you need it in a project, you can quickly insert it and not have to go through this process again. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and visit bkashaaudio.com for more video tutorials.